confetti rained down like multicolored snow, a celebratory shower for the Kansas City Chiefs' hard-fought victory. In the midst of the joyous chaos, Taylor Swift stood on the sidelines, a smile plastered on her face that didn't quite reach her eyes. Her gaze darted through the throng of ecstatic players, searching for the familiar red jersey. There he was, Travis Kelsey, her superstar tight end boyfriend, engulfed in a celebratory mob. He finally broke free, his eyes lighting up when he saw her. With a determined path through the cheering crowd, he reached her, his broad smile splitting his face. We did it, babe, he boomed, pulling her into a crushing hug. The scent of victory, sweat, grass, and a hint of celebratory beer, filled Taylor's senses. Travis pulled back, his eyes crinkling at the corners. You look incredible, he said, his voice softer now. But the next words caught in her throat like a forgotten melody. Even more beautiful when you're cheering us on from the stands, he finished, a playful wink escaping him. Taylor's smile faltered. A lump formed in her throat, the weight of unspoken words pressing down on her. She wasn't cheering. She'd been politely clapping, offering encouraging smiles, but a part of her had felt strangely distant from the celebration. The truth was, the constant media frenzy surrounding their relationship, the WAG, wife of athlete, label, it all felt suffocating. Here, amidst the elation, it hit her with renewed intensity. Travis, oblivious, reached for her hand, his grip warm and reassuring. Tears welled up in Taylor's eyes, blurring the confetti-filled scene. Hey, Travis said, concern replacing his playful grin. What's wrong? Taking a shaky breath, Taylor blurted out, I just. I feel like I'm here to enhance your win, not celebrate it with you. The words tumbled out, raw and vulnerable. Travis's smile softened completely. He cupped her face in his large hands, his thumbs wiping away stray tears. Hey, listen to me, he said, his voice gentle. You being here, cheering us on, it means the world to me. But you don't have to be anyone but yourself. This win, it's ours, but this celebration? It's for you too. His words, sincere and filled with understanding, were a bomb to her soul. A sob escaped her lips, but this time, it was laced with relief. Travis pulled her into another hug, this one a silent promise of shared joy and mutual respect. As the crowd's cheers subsided, replaced by celebratory music, Taylor leaned into Travis, the weight lifting from her shoulders. Maybe being by his side wasn't about being his trophy, but about celebrating their victories, together. And that, she realized through tear-filled eyes, was a beautiful thing. The confetti rained down like multicolored snow, a celebratory shower for the Kansas City Chiefs' hard-fought victory. In the heart of the jubilant chaos, Taylor hugged Travis Kelsey tight, his helmet clutched awkwardly in her arms. The roar of the crowd seemed distant, muffled by the pounding of her heart against his chest. This was it. The moment they'd both been waiting for. Travis, the star tight end, finally hoisting the championship trophy. Taylor, the ever-supportive girlfriend, beaming with pride. Yet, as Travis pulled back, a flicker of unease crossed his face. You know, he began, his voice rough with emotion, winning this feels incredible, but seeing you in the stands, cheering me on, you take my breath away, Taylor. Every single time. A warmth bloomed in Taylor's chest, a familiar counterpoint to the hollowness that had settled there recently. But before she could respond, Travis continued, his brow furrowed. You're more beautiful than any trophy, Tay. But seeing the fire in your eyes when you perform, that's what truly gets me. You inspire millions, and that's the most beautiful thing about you. The warmth in Taylor's chest turned to a cold knot. Travis hadn't mentioned her music, not the songs she poured her soul into, the ones that had made her a global phenomenon. A tear escaped, tracing a glistening path down her cheek. Travis, oblivious, squeezed her hand. Hey, what's wrong? The dam broke. Tears streamed down Taylor's face, a silent scream. It's not enough, is it? She choked out. Being beautiful for you, cheering you on? Doesn't my music matter? Travis's face softened with realization. He cupped her tear-streaked cheek, his thumb gently wiping away a stray tear. Oh, Tay. My love, how could you think that? 
Your music, it's the soundtrack of my life. It's what gets me pumped before every game. It's what I listen to when I'm feeling down. He pulled her into another hug, this time tighter, his voice a low rumble against her ear. You inspire me in a way football never could. You're strong, talented, and passionate. That's what makes you beautiful, inside and out. Taylor finally allowed herself to relax into his embrace, the knot in her chest loosening with each beat of his heart. The roar of the crowd faded back in, a joyous symphony accompanying the quiet understanding between them. In that moment, she realized that true love didn't just see her beauty, it saw the fire that burned within. Confetti rained down like multicolored snow, a shimmering celebration of the Kansas City Chiefs victory. In the opulent owner's box, Taylor Swift, usually the picture of poised composure, fought back tears. The cheering crowd couldn't drown out the echo of Travis Kelsey's post-game interview. Travis, the star tight end, her hero both on and off the field, had just been named Super Bowl MVP. Yet, when asked about his celebration plans, his answer sent a pang through Taylor's heart. First things first, he'd beamed into the camera, his voice thick with Kansas City twang, gotta get some celebratory pizza with the boys. Then, maybe I can convince the most incredible woman here to finally watch that cheesy rom-com marathon I've been planning. Taylor, a self-proclaimed queen of heartbreak anthems, felt a surprising prick behind her eyes. It wasn't jealousy, not exactly. But Travis, her champion, the man who'd braved the scrutiny of the media to hold her hand, still didn't quite get her. Later, in the quiet of their hotel room, the afterglow of victory dimmed. Travis, oblivious, dug into a greasy pepperoni pizza, oblivious to the tear tracks Taylor brushed away. Hey, beautiful, he said, finally looking up, a goofy grin splitting his face. You coming for a slice? Taylor forced a smile. Actually, honey, I think I'm just going to turn in. Travis's grin faltered. In the silence, Taylor blurted out, don't you ever see me, Travis? All you see is, pizza and movie nights. Travis's brow furrowed. What? Of course I see you, Tay. You're the most amazing woman I know. But do you see the me who writes songs that touch millions? The me who donates to charities and fights for what's right? Taylor's voice cracked. Or am I just your pretty arm candy? The playful glint in Travis's eyes vanished. He set down the pizza, his gaze turning serious. Taylor, he said, his voice low, you're a force of nature. You inspire me every damn day. But you gotta believe me, seeing you light up a stage, that's hotter than any red carpet. He reached for her hand, his touch gentle. Maybe I don't always say it right, but you're my queen, on the field and off. And trust me, compared to seeing you fight for what you believe in, a cheesy rom-com marathon is child's play. A laugh bubbled up from Taylor's chest, chasing away the last tear. Maybe Travis didn't understand rom-coms, but he understood her, the real her. He saw the fire that fueled her music, her activism. He saw her as a queen, not just a beautiful face. As they settled onto the couch, a pizza box on the coffee table, Taylor knew this wasn't just a victory for the Chiefs. It was a victory for their connection, a messy, beautiful thing that celebrated all of her, not just a part.